And you touched on another service that you do, which is valuations. Yep. We know what it is. Some people don't. So if you can just highlight and give us a nice overview there and how you help clients with valuations. Yeah. And and what made you kind of get into that additional service? Yeah, for sure. Look, naturally, our clientele, property investors, and we would get frequently asked by accountants if you can prepare a schedule and people almost confuse the difference between oh can i get a property valuation or you know depreciation valuation it's like all these words but the truth is they were coming from the same source the accountants Mm. were providing the advice and we don't do valuations for bank purposes we try to stay away from that most of our work is all private work which is cgt so capital gains tax and stamp duty and essentially for those that don't understand when you have a property when you own occupy it and you switch it to investment that becomes a cgt event yeah because when you own occupy you live in it there's no tax on that once you sell the property once you move out of it you move out of it and rent it out you then are in a cgt event which means that it would be calculated from the day that you vacate that property that it becomes taxable so what do we tax on is the question the ato asks and Mm. that's where the valuer or evaluation company like ours comes in handy because we then value the property at time of vacating the premises Mm. and so from that time to the sale of the property that would be cgt liable and they would work out your capital gain tax liability from that difference so the sale price to the valuation price or the valuation, the value of at that time and point. And so then they would work out your taxes based on that with your discounts and whatnot. But uh, that's why we come in handy there. But if you invest, you rent out the property and you live in the property, you'll also have a CGT event when you've initially rented it out. And once you live in it again, you need to get a valuation to determine what's the value at time of moving into it because it stops being a CGT event. So yeah, okay. yeah, the first period mm. where in, so it's the inverse of the the first scenario and stamp duty transfers is when you know my mum gives me a property that's a stamp duty event right yep. and the ATO will collect stamp duty or ATO was it Revenue New South Wales oh uh, yeah. yeah Revenue New South Wales people, yeah. one of them yeah, well, yeah, one of them. yeah. <laughs> another one tax of the, uh, yeah. Yeah. at least it's yeah. not as bad as America we don't have to have federal state like regional oh and things. Yeah. yeah okay <laughs> I'm not well aware of that but I know it's bad enough here that's yeah. for sure yeah. not to mention land tax so and OSR can that be deferred at all deferred in terms of payment like once you've kind of you know you've lived in a property as a PPR and then you've changed to an investment there isn't any tax at that point it's right. only when you sell the property right okay. but it pays to get it done then because otherwise you have to do it retrospectively yeah which is you know if you hold it for 10 years it's a bit of a process to do a yep. retrospective valuation sure. but if you can do it at the present time it always helps because you know best the value of your property at the time of moving out in 10 years sure. time it's sort of like a gray area and it's a, a battle between you and the value well no nah, my house is worth less than or you yeah. know because obviously if you say it's less, it might be favorable and sometimes it might be more and yeah. it might be favorable depending on the situation. So yeah. I always suggest to do it at time because then you know best what yeah. your value is worth. And it's it's a bit of a, a negotiate or discussion, should I mm. say, with the uh, valuer. You know, I've done this work, I've done that work. I think it's worth more. You know, things like that can be discussed mm. at time of valuation. For sure. Yep. Well, that's awesome. Like, we have a lot of people on the podcast and a lot of things you already sort of like hear and know and things like that. But from my perspective, like that opened my mind up to a lot of things. And mm. I've been doing depreciation for years and I didn't even know there was half of those things we could claim and that sort of stuff. So that's really awesome. And I really got a lot out of it as well. Oh, thanks, Daniel. Um, glad Tuan, you <laughs> thank you very much.